take a look at the black team's opening lineup. G out there with money. Then there's Spencer Hawes. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Rain Man in at the three. They've got Mr. Fundamentals. Robinson is out there with Duncan. Then there's Buckets. And it's Richards in at the point. Down low. Right block shot. And Jordan with the layup. Well, something special about him, guys, is just how good he is at winning the so-called second shot game, going hard to the offensive glass, salvaging points with his putback. And I know something else the fans love about him is the way he's capable of going straight over the top of a defender for some monster throwdowns. I mean, we're talking about posterization with capital letters. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. Terrible turnover. Pass to Mr. Fundamentals. Here's the great one. And that one's good. And the black team with possession here. Ball's knocked loose. D passes to Money. Backs him down. Here's D. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin, I caught up with Coach Doc Rivers. They'll be up against a future Hall of Famer in Tim Duncan in this one, and I asked him how Duncan changes what they do on the defensive end. He relayed that he told his guys not to be over-aggressive with him in the post, saying, if we start fighting on every fake he throws our way, we'll all be in foul trouble. We can't let that happen. We'll see if they can avoid just that, guys. And thanks for that story, Doris. And the black team with possession here. Here's Gary. Oh! So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the strike. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Richards passes to Buckets. And the ball goes out of play following the shot. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Knocked away. He's got a clear path. Richards passes to dunk. And he slams it one-handed. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk part coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they won on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. It's good from about 19 feet. Speedy's got his first bucket in this one. Boy, he's so hard to stop, guys, because he poses a ton of matchup problems for the defense. Money passes to deep. An easy two points on the layup. D's got five now. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. Robinson. Pass to Money. Puts it up. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Here's Speedy. Oh, he misses the dunk. Can't say I'm surprised that one didn't fall. He can barely dunk it in the pregame layup line. A pass to D. Pass to Richards. Shot denied. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Passes it to Buckets. 
And that's collected by Spencer Hall. You rarely see him missing dunk, but the defender was right in his face on that one, and it threw him off just enough. Money passes to Raymond. Money fires the three. The pass to deep. Here's Rain Man, covered by Duncan. Here's Rain Man, rejected by Robinson. Richards passes to Buckets. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Pause with the block. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter. You know what I love about this guy? I mean, he hates coming out of the game. He wants to play every minute of every game. And I think he's got the stamina to do it sometimes. And another thing that stands out about him, Steve, he has the ability to score even with defenders draped all over him. He's so strong around the goal. Well, as far as the league's big men go, he's one of the very best at the foul line. Pass to Mr. Fundamentals. Speedy. Stolen. A solo fast break. Here's Gary. Duncan outside. And he jams it with authority. Flies back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> this could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. Well, that was not a smart play there. That was a wild shot. They can get something better. No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. And so it's Black with it, trailing by four. Feeds it to Hawks. He passes to Raymond. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. 46 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Speedy. Gives him the lead pass. Buckets. The layup missed. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. <laughs> Second foul of the first quarter. They're probably going to have to sit him down here to try to avoid number three. And the first one drops. Good on both. You see the early fouls here? They're having an impact so far. Passes to Mr. Fundamentals. Oh, good on the three. And Jordan sends it back. And they get it back. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The white team leading by a point. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. Taking a look at the white team performance here, Clark and Steve. What do you think they've been doing right? What do you think they've been doing wrong? And that first quarter was all about pace, guys, because this club really got out into transition, and that's how they built this lead. They like to play fast, and they're doing a nice job filling the lane. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. They've got Rain Man. Honey out there with deep. Then there's Spencer Hawes, and it's Jordan in at the center. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. 
Three! Thank you, Kevin. Doc Rivers trying to help this Clippers team to the mountaintop. And Chris Paul said, I've never had a coach that wants to win as bad as I do until Rivers. Rivers said, I'm just here to try to win. I always tell our players there's no guarantee to it. You have to be willing to get your hearts broken. Gentlemen. He's getting him to lay it all on the line. Doris, thank you. Rain man passes to money. They set the screen. Now the pass to Rain. Shot left block. Six to shoot. Money. And he knocks down the jumper. Money's got 12 points in the game. You know, I don't think that was the shot they had in mind, but they'll take it. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. The first one falls. And so he hits both. And the white team with possession. It's a three-point game. Richards passes to Robinson. Can't get it to fall. He's just been ice cold. I mean, he, he cannot find the range. Pass to Money. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Solid on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. Passes it to Mr. Fundamentals. Here's the great one. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, <laughs> Kevin. I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. Tremendous stuff from a guy, Clark, we think more of for his passion. Yeah, but he's got tremendous leaping ability and a surplus supply, too. Well, that's a great aggressive move and two big points, too. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. The pass to Money. Rain Man. Here's Gary. And the shot no good. A bit short. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Past the rain. To the paint. D. Tim Duncan with the rebound. Duncan's got three rebounds so far in the game. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. Like knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. Here's Robinson. He's got six. Richards passes to Buckets. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, close, but I didn't think he got on balance quickly enough. And it's hard to draw charges as quick as players are at this level. That's not an easy bit of work there. What an ugly second quarter for him so far. He's starting to press a little bit out there. D passes to Mutter. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Money's gotten five of his seven shots to fall. There's the screen. Fires from deep. Count that one. And 12 points for Buckets. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Passes it to deep. Two on none. No one back to stop this. Throws down the breakaway jam. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris, 
gentlemen, it's interesting that Jamal Crawford has always embraced his sixth man role. He said, quote, nobody wants to come off the bench, but if you're really about winning and sacrifice, then you have to do it. When you bring one of your top scorers off the bench, it gives your team balance. I like that when I check in the game, the other players start getting nervous, and there's no doubting they do, guys. He can get his shot anytime. Thank you, Doris. To the inside. Rain Man, guarded by Robinson. It's good on the putback. That kind of putback turns a simple rebound into a highlight play. He has sold at the glass to the right, then has sold at the rim. Yeah, now that's getting the job done on the board. And their shooting really starting to pick up here in the second quarter. Well, the lead being maintained will not be a problem if they keep shooting the way they have so far. That's his first first second team. And there's the pass to Money. The dish to Hawks. Here's Rain Man. Backing in. Lock at six. He passes to Money. Oh, offensive interference. Fifty seconds left in the first half of basketball. Richards passes to Buckets. Pass to Mr. Fundamentals. It's good from long range. Mr. Fundamentals got five points in the quarter. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area that you can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scope. Here's D, and he gets it to go. D's got nine points. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. And he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. Eight seconds left here in the second. Pass to Raymond. There's the triple. And we've reached halftime in this one. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. And you know, Buckets has really been making it happen, guys. I love his approach, guys. He came out aggressively, took the ball into the teeth of the defense, and either got points at the rim or drew fouls. Most of the time, he's been drawing fouls. He has the free throw total to show for it, as well as a few nicks and bruises. Dunking out there with buckets. It's Mr. Fundamentals. Then there's Speedy. And it's Robinson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Main man is out there with Spencer Hawes. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And there's Money. And it's D in at the point guard position. Heading underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jack Rivers. Let's it go with a three. That's good. D's got 12. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. Here's the pass to Money. Here's Rain Man. 18 feet out. Offensive rebound. Pass to D. And he hits the jump shot. He's got 14. He's got one of those shooting strokes that never changes, guys. I mean, even if the defenders are all over him, he just never seems to flinch. A great quality to have as a shooter. And also, Steve, I think he's really smart with the basketball. Very smart. When you're playing with him, your only job is to get open because when you do, and if you do, he'll put it on the platter for you. Room service style. Here's Buckets. The shot goes in as the ref calls the blocking foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. You know, it seems like when they've gone to him, he's really come through. And that's not something they should get away from. Nice work at the line so far, going five for five. Passes it to D. 
with the lead pass. I'll tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he dies. And I like the way he capped that drive off, guys, with the one-hand punch. Buckets. And it goes out of bounds following the shot. Now the black team with it. Down by 15. D passes to Money. And he uses the glass on the layup. Money's got 24. Well, that shot keeps him at 100% from the field this quarter. And the pass to Mr. Fundamentals. Oh! Off target with the open look. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. To the middle. Money passes to Raymond. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And I love how he goes with that one-hand tomahawk slam. Beautiful. And he uses both hands to jam it in. I tell you, he's really carrying a lot of the load offensively, and that's almost always good news for them. Here. Kevin, he's been a bright spot in what's otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. Steve, I know you love great teamwork. Yeah, so much fun to watch when the ball is moving. Uh, there's kind of a, a, a rhythm to the game that just happens. The ball moves almost on its own. Yeah, but it's fun to watch. And Toronto has possession. 17 points was their biggest margin. There's the bucket. Good. Yeah, not just an everyday finish. He put a little pizzazz on that one, guys. He passes it to deep. That one wide left. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Richards passes to Buckets. Just putting on a passing display out there. Well, just to add another fantastic assist to the highlight reel for this guy. Here's Rain Man. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Up strong off the offensive rebound. What a play. They can cut this lead down if they start converting more of their second points. I'm with you there. Yeah, but you wonder, where were those earlier? They're just hustling more now. Well, now they're just going to town on it. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin. But so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Really an extraordinary game for Money. He's got 26 points, and free throws have been big for him today with six points from the line. Well, you know he understands the value of those easy points. Also, you know, getting the opponent into foul trouble. And those are big. Those are the, the little things that will add up uh, for a team trying to get a victory. Richards passes to Robinson. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Mr. Fundamentals gone three for five from the field. Past Durain. Inside. Here's the break. Here's Richards. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with Hooks. It's astonishing to see a player, Clark, at his position who can get to the rim like that. Yeah, he goes very vertical on you, Kevin. And once he's up there, you know he's going to throw it down hard. He has not lost his focus today. Even when things haven't gone his team's way, he's still bringing it. Passes to Mr. Fundamentals. And it's going to be a three-second call. Fifty-two seconds left here in the third quarter. The pass to Money puts the lead pass in front of him. Cutting into the lead with a huge one-hand throwdown. That's how to get your team back into it. Yes, yeah, sir. That, that may put a little life back into this team. And the call will be against D. That'll be his second foul of the game. Forty seconds left in the third. Pass to Mr. Fundamentals. Lots of room. The offensive rebound goes up again. Robinson misses. And the black team with possession here. A 12-point game. First one falls for him. 
You know, even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line this time. I think they've done a good job of making the most of their chances at the line, and they've got to keep it up to take the lead. And they'll probably let the clock wind down here. Exactly. No need to give the ball back before the end of the quarter. He passes to Buckets. Passes it to Mr. Fundamentals. With one on the clock. Oh, the buzzer, Peter. Amazing. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The white team up by 12. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. They've got Robinson. Buckets is out there with Duncan. Then there's Speedy. And it's Mr. Fundamentals in at the two. Both good from the line that time. Here's White. Pass to Robinson. And stolen by Jordan. Here's D. The pass to Raymond. And that one ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. A super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's probably two points. And he knew that. He knew if it gets through, it's a score. So that's why he sold out for it and got a hand on it. D passes to Hawes. And so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. And the black team with possession here. Trailing by 10. Just five to shoot. Robinson pulls it in. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Here's Richards. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. The defense looking a little bit dazed now. A ferocious throw down there. Not bad for a player of his size. Not bad at all. How about that spring coming out of those legs? To the middle. The fadeaway. Misses off the right iron. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Money. Ask Durain. Makes the lead pass. Intercepted. Here's the break. Rips down the breakaway slam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. That's good. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Richards passes to Buckets. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. Simply need to just stay the course, Kevin. That's it. It's been a good course so far. Yep. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That's his fourth foul of the contest. He just picked up his fourth personal foul, and now he's got some foul trouble hanging over his head, guys. Down low. A steal. Not a very good decision with that entry pass. Not with a defender right there. To the paint. No good. Some solid defense from Robinson. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in control of this game. Yep, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. And it's Speedy with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. They set the pick. Passes it to Money. He kicks to Jordan. And there's the pass to Money. To the inside. Six on the shot clock. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And this game is really heated up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, there's always room for more offense, Steve. You know that. Pass to Buckets. Jacks up a three. 
And good on the basket. Book it. Buckets got 40 points. Tell you what, they haven't exactly been shy about letting it fly from deep here in the second half. You know, Steve, if you have the lead, you can afford to be a little comfortable with the three-point shots. You just don't want to fall too much in love with it. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. Down low, pass to Raymond. No good from outside. Very poor shot selection there, guys. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. You know, guys, every coach would love to play his star player every minute of an NBA season, but it's impossible given the limits of endurance and the risk of injury. It's basically a balancing act. I think teams are becoming wiser, though, in terms of keeping players fresh and helping them recover between the games. And with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. Well, if not 100% safe, certainly 95%. Here's the pass to Money. Stolen by Robinson. And here's the fast break. Here's Richards. Hammers it home to polish off the break. And that puts a cherry on top, so to speak, of what's been a phenomenal showing for them. All over but the whining now, Steve. And it's Buckus with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. You know, every team in the league loves to have good size in the middle, but it does seem like the league is getting tougher for big men. You know, they help defenses now. Uh, the allowance of zone defenses, you can uh, sort of load up on players. It, it can inhibit a, a big man's ability to attack because you can see double teaming even before he's gotten the ball. Uh, but it's made for great strategy, and I really like the new rules. Jordan with the bucket. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. And the call will be against Dean. That's his third foul of the game. As the game has required more movement, Clark, we're seeing big guys try to slim down. And yeah, big men with agility are at a premium, but also it takes a little bit of the stress and strain off the joints. As few as five to ten pounds less can make a big difference, and that's huge for big guys. Here's Rain Man. Knocks down the three ball. The thing you notice right off the bat from the statistics, just his three-point percentage. I mean, it's a terrific number, and it's a combination of things. Good shot selection, mechanics are solid, and his movement on the perimeter is outstanding. And another thing he's known for all over the league is what an angry shot blocker he is. He does it with an attitude when he knocks it out of the air and sends it behind the shooter. That's blocked. And that is good. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Buck. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, that's how you close out a game, Steve. And the ball travels out of bounds. Turnover. Yeah, not a good idea throwing the ball down the court that far. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Rain Man. This is the Hawks. He passes to Money. Jordan. Here's Gary. And so the home crowd treated to a win. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Buckets. Just because